gotta put the lipstick on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna turn my mic on. Oh, and it is. All right. Who's ready? Okay. Here we go. We have everything set. Everything's ready to go. And it's time. It's time for Tharp World. This is Tharp World. We're live. This is the Compound Gallery in Oakland. I'm Allison Tharp. This is Allison O.K. Frost, and it's Allison's Attack. This is going to be a really special episode. As you well know, if you've seen the show before, I am a psychic. I'm a phone psychic. You can call in at this number. I give free readings, um, tarot readings, crystal ball readings, and I have a healing crystal, which I'll send to you positive energy if that's what you need. Um, we also have callers collaborate on the show with us, so you can call in, collaborate. We have a piece we're working on. And then fellow psychic Allison will, will aid in the readings as well. So call this number if you want a reading, if you want to collaborate with us, or just say hi. It's 1-844-ARTSHIP, extension 4. Don't forget the extension 4. You will reach the office, and there will be no psychic reading for you, and that would be sad. So here we go. Let's begin. So as you see here behind us, this is the biggest poster that I have done on the new season of Tharp World, and today's theme is 80s workouts. We have a couple of celebrity guests on the poster already created. This is Richard Simmons down here on this uh, lovely workout-like op apparatus. This is Peter Chris in full makeup. That's Gaul from Gorgoroth. His body's not drawn on yet, but he's got some adorable little biker shorts here. And that's a Nordic track. Do you remember those? So I remember, I, personally I remember the 80s workouts as being very aerobic and having it be more about like fashion than actually aerobics. I remember like imagining like posing and stretching but then not really working out kind of like this person is doing. It was more about the outfits from what I remember. Right. So, and the, the matching dumbbells. Matching dumbbells, totally in different colors. Mm -hmm. And so there was a real sense that you were maybe going to work out but, but first you were gonna pose and like enjoy the outfit. So we also have some inspiring um, little pictures here with different outfits we could draw on. So if anybody out there watching has any inspiration, that they would like to see celebrities. I mean, Allison and I can draw anything. So if you want to see, I mean, Allison especially, can draw very, very realistically um, anything that you want. And I may be able to render it sort of not maybe totally realistically, but I will give, my best, give it my best cartoonish bizarre and like kind of twisted shot at it. Um, so we have different styles working here. Give us a call. 1844 Art Ship Extension 4. And so let's begin. Let's just start. Let's just start drawing. So it's very it's casual here. It's chill. So we have our, our inspiration cards from last time with different things written on them. This is kind of like Brian Eno's oblique strategies. I don't, I call it the Tharp inspiration cards because I haven't come up with a name for them yet. But they're just a bunch of random things written to kind of aid in the creation of, of our pieces. So I'm going to draw one and start and then maybe you can draw one and start. That sounds great. And we'll just, we'll just begin. Okay. Run with the wolves, but watch where you step. That's my card. Great. Go for it. Add one more character, but the others don't like him, her, or it. Okay. There we go. It's really vague, it's cryptic, but we're going to just go ahead and get started. So Allison, tell us about, tell us about your work, and you have a really exciting um, announcement about your new show. So tell us a little bit about that while we get started. Okay, that sounds great. Well, um, I am going to be broadcasting live from this very channel. Oh, here. Oh, um, I am going to be doing a <laughs> cooking and interview show where I'm bringing in artists who currently have work um, on display in the Bay Area to talk about their work and their history and why they have to do this thing all the time. Yes. Because like we, we do. do, we do, we do it a lot. A yeah. lot of our time is spent doing art, and we love it, but we, we almost don't have a choice. I mean, if we don't do art, life is going to be rough. It's, it's going to be rough. And yeah. at the same time, we're going to be trying out some new recipes. Oh, I love it. What kind of recipes? Um, well, let's see. Um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to start with uh, 
an herb salmon dish. Oh my God, that's really fancy. It's pretty fancy. I'm also, I'm, I'd like to present each of my guests at the beginning of the show with an amuse bouche. What? Uh, I don't even know what that is. It, it's, um, it's a mouth amuser. So just a tiny, tiny bite of something. This is a lot fancier than I thought it was gonna be. It's that gonna be, it's gonna so be exciting. pretty fancy. It's gonna be filmed in the kitchen here. This is a real cooking show. This is, I was expecting like some pop tarts or maybe some macaroni and cheese like out of a box. We, we might go there. That's you know, kind of like it's, my, that's my level. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd, I'd like to definitely do a chili dog show. Okay. Um, but but this, is, this is gourmet. Gour gourmet, guys. yeah, yeah. Like they, the viewers may be able to pick up some actual cooking tips. Absolutely. And hear from, a, from an, an established artist and maybe get kind of inspired. Yes. And come and see that artist's work or perhaps want to start collecting their work, but just getting to know the Bay Area artists more. Exactly, exactly. We're gonna we're gonna get to know each other. Um, the viewers are gonna get to know us. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool and we're all gonna learn to cook. I love it. And it's more fun to collect an artist's work if you kind of know who they are, you kinda know their story a little bit more. And then you feel like you're really collecting something that someone local made. Um, oh, this is good. Okay, our audio, I'm getting a psychic sense that our that our audio is really clear. That's, that's really exciting news. Yeah, I love have I love working with another psychic because it's so fun when we both like agree on something because we're both psychic and that's just really nice to have that. Validation. We're having a secondary conversation right now that we, you can't even hear. And it's okay that you can't because the gnomes can and they're everywhere. Around they're here. everywhere. So I know you guys can't see them, but we can, and just be okay with that. So I'm I think I'm just gonna start like working on this piece. I'm super excited about your show. Um, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait till it starts and to be like in the in the studio audience if that's if Absolutely. that's available. So there will be seating like a cooking show, like where people can watch and maybe taste. That I would like that a lot. Maybe a, an Iron Chef component. <sighs> oh, we're yes. gonna we're gonna figure it out as we go along. Because the most fun, like when I would see infomercials, kind of like on the the TV kind of around the same era as this poster was made. Absolutely. There'd be a cooking show, but then there would also be a bunch of a, a bunch of guests who would get to try out whatever was being made in like the snack master or the or that chopping thing or whatever else was getting made. Um, everyone could taste and enjoy. Absolutely. And that's so special. It brings everyone together. It does. Yay! <laughs> All right, should we get started? Let's get started. So Mine is run with the wolves and watch where you step. So when I think of that, I think of like, um, well, I just think of stepping and something grows. And that's just kind of, that's sort of like, we do a lot of that on Park World. I think I, I think I drew this card last time. So, okay. But this time, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this and get kind of inspired with these fashions. Maybe I'll do some leggings on this character. Great. And I'm gonna get started on one more character that the others don't like. Um, we don't have so many characters going right now, but I figure nobody likes the possums. No, so they're like horrible creatures. They're horrible, they're disgusting. So I'm gonna start there if it's okay. That's fine. All right. You know, I have. I saw this lady, I was walking home, like walking from my work to my car and this late, there's a dead possum on the ground. It was North Berkeley. And this lady was on the phone and she's like, there's a dead cat on the ground. And I was like, it's a possum. And she's like, there's a dead possum on the ground. <laughs> it was clearly this nasty rat creature, but she, she interpreted that as being a cat, which I thought was really funny. Absolutely. Because how can you think that's a cat? How, how unless you're not you paying know. attention. And don't forget viewers, is something going on? Do you think he's cheating? Are you wondering about finances? You can call in and get a free psychic reading at 1844 Artship Extension 4 by two talented psychics. We do tarot readings, crystal ball readings, and healing crystal loving energy projection. So give us a call. It's, well, you know, nothing's really free. You have to collaborate on this poster with us. So feel free to give us a call anytime. The phone operators are standing by. Just, just, just so you know, you don't have to live with the unknowing anymore. You can call.
these posters are so fun because they get more and more kind of dense and involved and complicated as the shows progress. So at first that we just kind of establish, oh, that's awesome. At first we sort of just establish the um, sort of the outline, like the characters start to be introduced, kind of like a pilot episode. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to get really complicated. So stay tuned. Several, for several shows, you'll see this piece evolve. And then later, it will be owned by someone. Who, I, I don't know who the lucky viewer will be, but these pieces end up for sale at the compound. So if you get excited, you want to own it, you can. So I'm loving the black leggings. And I also love the inspiration in that picture that they're not really wearing workout shoes, like the, the shoes of nowadays, where they're like a big, puffy, like Velcro-y thing. It was just like a little kid or even a ballet flat because it wasn't right. really about the working out. It was just really about looking cute. Yeah. My oh. personal favorite accessories were completely ubiquitous in the golden era of yes. workout gear. Yes. You know, Richard Simmons is a, is a special person, and I've written about him and enjoyed him for, since I was a kid. I loved when he would go on talk shows and large people who were the guests, he would, he would give them puppies and give them inspiration to get healthy, and they would cry, and he would cry. It was so powerful. He was inspirational. He changed lives. He changed he really lives, did. and he was so sweet, and he did these great workout videos where he played fantastic hits of the, of the 50s and 60s and and anybody of all age could dance to them and I did I danced I danced all the time I'd pop in the same VHS tape over and over and sweat to the oldies sometimes with my mom and sometimes just by myself because if you're having a bad day you're not having a bad day after you've sweated to the oldies absolutely I wonder if I can still get those on DVD I bet maybe you can get them on VHS god I just wouldn't have a way to play them anymore that was so great back then. It was so innocent, you know. They didn't know anything about nutrition or, or you know, or health. But Richard was a, a forward thinker because at least he was really positive. It's true. It's true. And um, I believe that stress um, is an inhibitor of health. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think that um, dancing to the oldies with Richard Simmons and this creepy possum it, are yeah, both a really, a really, step. it's a, this is, um, this is not just a step, it's a Reebok brand step. Cool. <laughs> and everything made all the difference back then. You, like, had to have the right brand. Remember those like one pound weights that did absolutely nothing? Like our iPhones weigh more than those. And like no one's getting fit with that. But it's just for fun. It was like, when's this gonna happen? You know, it was a it was a more innocent time. It really was. There was no like paleo diet back then. No, no. It was the four food groups, man. Absolutely. Meat was just as important as milk, just as important as vegetables, which often came in a can. They just started making them so that they're not in a can now. I guess you can go and get a, them at the farmer's market where they're fresh. But before then, they just went from the ground into the can. In, straight into the can. <laughs> and you took them out of the can and boiled them for 30 minutes. And made them extra mushy. Extra mushy. That was how it used to be. I'm surprised that we're still alive after eating all of those <laughs> things like that. And speaking of things how they used to be, as this is somewhat nostalgic but not always in a good way my uh, my good friend and fellow compound studio mate has lent her favorite um workout book for us to enjoy this is um this is reading uh it's arnold schwarzenegger's um workout book um he's written this for women it's very specifically for women it makes my feminist blood boil i i i hate opening it but i will for the viewers because it's funny but then you have to like shut it immediately and put the images out of your mind. Let's start. Some of them are, I mean, just for, sometimes what, like, once in a while, I like to look at something 
and it gives me so much anger that I that I call it inverse inspiration. Like really bad movie or like terrible art or awful books like makes me so mad that I want to create. So in a, in a way it's like it goes a full circle back to good. So thanks Lexi for for this wonderful um, for lending me this great book. So so here we see Arnold, you know, aiding in um, in the lifting of what looks like um, sort of like a poster or some kind of piece of paper. Looks heavy. Here he is with a bunch of ladies. Wonderful. See, things have gotten better. Things have gotten a lot better. Yeah. Whenever we worry, you know, that, that the world is falling apart, we just have to remember that, oh, the, here's a diagram that shows that your boobs will look better if you use his workout tips. They won't be bigger, but they will be better according to this diagram. It's horrible. Here's some fun things you can do with Arnold. That's not creepy or anything. Oh, it's good times. So there it is. That's probably the worst one yet. Oh, wow. But she's so strong. <laughs> she's really strong. She's really strong. So that's just fun. Oh, here's another great one. Look at, I love the look on his face in this one. Yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, that's, nice. that's eye rape. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. And here's another great one. <laughs> so, ladies, when you worry, you know, that things are tough, it used to be worse. So take heart. I am so happy that the 80s are over. <laughs> <laughs> so here's these, like, one-pound weights. Oh. And I wish that they would make like a one-piece man suit like they used to, that guys could work out oh, yeah. in. There was like a unitard for men that was really cute. R Richard Simmons was, was the king yes, of that. Yes, His unitards were so cute. They were but like uh, wrestling costumes, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you did your did your high school have wrestling? Have I wrestling believe that they did, thing? but I think I blocked it out. Did you? Of yeah. my, of my conscious. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I think probably watch where you step might be about like the sweat. There's there's like these are this is a, a sweat drip lady, oh. and I think that you just got to be careful, especially if you're doing the Vikram yoga. The floor can be really slippery. That, that is true. And remember how there, the, uh, the leotard was cut really high. So there was just a lot of thigh and like, like mostly butt. Like the, it was yeah. up so high that, I mean, I can't imagine it being healthy for ladies. No, no. To and have do you remember that in that way? In the eighties, butts had not been invented yet. It was a very, it was a very flat thing. It was, it was a, almost yeah. like a pancake. It was a, it was a pancake. It was a nice flat pancake. What happened? Where did the butts? Where were the butts in the eighties? Um, butts were not invented until the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact about anatomy. That's true. In fact, I, I don't see really. I mean, there's a kind of some butts here, and mm -hmm. that looks like what might be a butt, but then if she gets up, there would just be a flat. Yeah, That's yeah. why the high-waisted pants... I mean, look, look how, she's, how she's balancing here. Because there's nothing except there's the nothing. tailbone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, you guys, we also do psychic readings on this show. We do the art, we have talks, we do psychic readings, we do it all. We do it all in an hour on Tharp World. This is an exciting show, it's live, it's free. Why wouldn't you want a free psychic reading by two very talented psychic artists? Toll free, 1844 Artship Extension 4. Operators are standing by. Feel free to call, collaborate. You can also chat on the, um, on the site if you are shy, and that is okay. And you also don't have to use your name. It can be anonymous. It can be totally anonymous. If you have questions, you're worried about finances, concerned about anything, just call. You know, we're, we're very talented psychics. We'll give you, we'll set you straight, we'll give you good advice. It's very positive, it's very loving. We had a healing crystal here. Maybe you just want some healing. You know, maybe you just want to talk. 
Um, don't call the number if you just want to talk. That could, no, just call a different number, call a friend. Um, this is an art show. We, we do art here and we talk about that. So if you want to talk about anything else, don't call. Okay, so, and then we also do um, the crystal ball readings. I'm going to draw another card, I think. Right. Draw with both hands a landscape with two colors. Okay, what does that even look like? Let's see. Drawing with both hands a landscape two colors. How about this? And the great thing with these characters is they can totally overlap. You can draw through them, you can draw on top of them. And it always, oh, always, always works out to be something we never even expected. They get so dense and so colorful and so weird. These posters are really fun. And they're so free because they're con anything goes. And it's, I think, so important to make art like that sometimes, where we're, we usually work on projects with a plan and they have to, you know, they have a certain direction you want to take them in. We, we rarely just kind of start and, and just with, I, at least I don't, with a work this size and let it just evolve. Absolutely. I'm, I myself am a fairly meticulous planner. Yes. And I'm, I'm finding this process to be very, very freeing. Good, good, good. Well, we're so happy to have you on the show. Thank you. And I'm, tell I'm really honored to be here. Tell us about your website. Where can the viewers see more of your work? So um, if you'd like to see more of my work, you can find it at allisonokfrost.com. That's Allison with one L, okfrost.com. Um, if you are in the East Bay or uh, San Francisco Bay Area, I have um, a show opening at Pro Arts Gallery, um, group show that opens um, a week from Friday. I believe that's the 6th of February. Awesome. Great. Thank you. That's so good. It's going to be great to see the working artists on your cooking show because we all have so much going on. It's difficult to cap to... Uh, to keep up with everybody. And it's kind of fun to see like week after week. It's gonna be really cool to hear, kind of get to know the artists, find out where their shows are. And then when you go and see their art, you can say, hey, I saw you on the cooking show. And that was really awesome. Yeah. And how, how much better is that than just showing up with nothing to say? You know, no one likes to feel awkward. Nobody likes to feel <laughs> awkward. So drawing with both hands is really weird. It's a little awkward, but it's also really exciting because what looks like these kind of strange flowers erupting out of this oh wow bizarre land. This is sort of like it looks like a workout class, but everybody's doing their own thing, like a yoga class in Berkeley. <laughs> It's the express yourself jazzercise class. Oh, yes, or like kind of like interpretive healing dance. Yes. They're, they have a really wonderful interpretive healing dance class that I haven't taken, but I've, I've peered in. I, I don't have that. I, I can't bring myself to do it yet. No. But maybe one day. It, it looks very healing. I feel there's like a lot of sighing and, and grunting and, and maybe some chanting and singing. It's difficult to get there. Know, spiritually if you're very uptight. <laughs> it is, it is. But it's easier to get there in Berkeley than anywhere else, I think. Oh, it's completely. Let's see. I'm s I love that, that everything was so high-waisted. That's when the high-waisted pants were working because th there was no butt, so it was easier to hike the the underwear, the leotard, and the pant up higher. Absolutely. And now there it's not, it's more the difficult. Way. There's nothing in the way. There was nothing in the way. What wouldn't you do? What wouldn't you do? This lady pink hair. 
I'm just gonna save this one for later, but I'm gonna go for it right now. It's funny how the characters just sort of start to suggest themselves. And they're like, this is what I wanna be. It's true. I'm doing a character now um, from the back, which means that we don't have too much information about her. But one thing we do know about her is that she is matching her scrunchie with her scrunchie sock. Nice. Love it. Remember layering multiple socks? I sure do. Gosh, I remember layering up to three or four socks. Amazing. With my white Reeboks. Yes. Times are so funny. What if that comes back? <laughs> and we can also add any kind of text that comes up, any kind of words that may that may present themselves in our minds. This hurts. Oh my god, okay. A call's coming in. I gotta take this. Great, great. Let's put it on speaker. Let's put it on speaker. Hey, you're on Tharp World. Who's this? Hi, this is Mary. Mary? Hello, Mary. How are Hi. you? Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm uh, calling to uh, Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you uh, like the poster so far. Thank you. Yes, I love it. And uh, I'd like to have a crystal ball reading. Lovely. I would, we would love to give you a crystal ball reading. Let's draw a couple of tarot cards, too. In fact, let's just like bust out all of the, uh, the tools available and give you a great reading here. Let's see. So let's move these things aside. And then afterward, you can help us collaborate on our piece because we always need ideas. I mean, so far, so good. I mean, this is looking basically like the, the workout that I'm kind of used to. There's a lot of awkward movement, sweat and whatnot. But um, so let's give you a reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards, keep your question in mind. And then while we're talking, you can kind of, you know, engage with us, too. And we may also be doing some art like while we're doing the reading. So. Here we go. Okay, that's great. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to read and do the art at the same time. Because I was thinking of last time with the show, you know, we've got to we've got to bring we've got to sandwich the two things together. It's great to do readings and it's great to do art, but the most exciting thing is to watch the art happen while the reading is happening too. That makes sense. In fact, I'm I'm gonna get back to it keep, while you keep shuffle. Keep working. Keep working. And then I'm gonna just like have you weigh in. I'm gonna like perfect. We're gonna lay out the cards. I mean, having two psychics on the show is just it's a boon. It is just a dream come true for the viewer, for the for the fan, for the for anyone who's interested in the occult or or any of those interesting things, crystals and healing. It's just, it's just so great, and hopefully Allison will come back and join us again because this is just going so well. So here we go. I'm going to draw three cards for Mary, shuffling them up. This is the first reading of the evening, so you've got to shuffle them pretty well, get them going. Okay, one more time. Keep thinking of your question, and I will okay. want it to be the most accurate. Okay, here we go. Draw any three cards here. Doing the free readings. Oh, this is a lovely first card. I see an extremely fortunate um, relationship card, the Nine of Cups. This shows a lot of satisfaction, a lot of happiness, um, a happy marriage or happy partnership. Something is very good, either like it's come together in a special way, you've reached a new level of intimacy and love with your partner, or maybe you just got married. There's, it's a very good card. Um, then I see, oh, then I also that's see, the nine of that's the Nine of Cups, and you can probably go online and look at a further 
you know, explanation of it. But then I also see that there was a, there were, there was a recent disappointment in a relationship as well. I see that the five of cups with the nine would imply a, a normally kind of happy relationship, but then perhaps I'm seeing that there was some kind of a disappointment, um, either with a friend or, or maybe with your partner. But I see that that there. But then, oh, wonderful. but that's a really good outcome. The eight of wands is very good too. It's 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 generally there's nothing too pressing that's that's the issue right now. I don't see anything any difficulties coming up aside from. A little bit of emotional upset, which could be from a, a, a someone disappoint, uh, like a disappointment, like a letdown of some kind. But the 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 outcome is very good. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of fortune in this in this reading. Yeah, yeah, a lot of you know, a lot of abundance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm loving the the water theme. Yes, and but, yes, I didn't. Yes, that's so true. There's the cups, and then also the wands, which is a creative card, is um, the eight of wands showing it's like an ocean like a, a very smooth path. It's like through difficulties that were there, there's a, there's like smooth passage. It's like a smooth time of, of the, of this, this situation that there's not a lot of difficulties right now, which it's a good card. It's like everything's going pretty well. And it is, there's a lot of water in that card, mm -hmm. which I didn't notice for a, for a card with the wands. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't that the water? Yes, the water, the water and the cups, um, those are emotional cards. Yeah, but, but all of the cups have to do with relationships and, and emotions. And so there's a lot of that. There's a lot of cups in your, in your reading. Yeah. And, and with the ball, I'm seeing that there may be, let's look. Let's see. What I'm seeing is perhaps there needs to be for the future of this reading a little bit more time spent with with other people, other friends, perhaps there's just a little bit more, too much time spent with a partner and there needs to be more time spent with friends or other people, like to branch out your friendship circle. I feel like in this card, there may just be a little bit of stagnation as, yeah, yeah. as a kind of as a, not something that you should worry about, but maybe something that could be possible. Um, there's always with the tarot, there's a little bit of ambivalence. You know, there's always good things, but there's always a little bit of, you know, stuff that could possibly not be going the way you want it to. So it shows like perhaps the branching out a bit socially might be a good thing right now. Absolutely. Get get in your boat and travel. Get in your boat and travel. Yes, that's what the Allison, Allison is suggesting that maybe taking a little trip or a little adventure, maybe with some friends or even even alone just like to get out of your routine. Absolutely. Yeah. To, A trip planned with a friend. Interesting. Yeah, with, with several friends. Yeah, my um, significant other is in common. Hmm. And, and so I, I was thinking, you know, how, you know, how much of how, how this trip uh, going to be able to be fulfilled and how much of it is going to be Oh, oh, wow. Let's see. Let's, let's, draw, yeah, let's draw one more card about... Oh yes, well we're yeah, both exactly. we're both very talented psychics, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna draw one. <laughs> I'm gonna draw one more card for your trip, okay? Let's draw one more card um, about your trip. Oh, I see your friend. Um, the person you're going with is a, is a very a very fiery, very adventurous person. Um, I see her as being. Um, she's very very fun like you're going with a very fun per you're gonna have a lot of adventures and stuff that you wouldn't normally do you're gonna do um i'm seeing you i'm seeing you get kind of getting out of your comfort zone a little bit and i recommend that you do that i really recommend that you do some things that you wouldn't normally do and you know nothing crazy but just like maybe go down a road you wouldn't normally go down order something on the menu you wouldn't normally order and kind of just follow along with with what your friend your friend has a, an adventurous spirit who you're going with and you're going to have a great time. Oh, well, great. Thank yes, you. you're very welcome. Thank you so much for your reading. Yes. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> awesome. I'd love to hear that. So, Mary, would you mind would you mind collaborating with us on this piece? Okay, so Okay, so give us um with this piece here, um what would you what's the first thing that comes to mind with this? Like what would you like to see? Do you have any celebrities or characters or anything that you'd like 
to uh, to see in this in this drawing, and you can do we can draw anything. So, if you have any ideas, any animals that come to mind, spirit animals, any any particular oh. colors you want to see, you can think like first thing that comes to mind, we can draw it, and you will have collaborated okay. on this piece with us. Bird, perfect. All We're right. gonna put birds in this and it will be dedicated to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling and have a great time on your trip. Thank you. Okay, Mary, thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Awesome. What a wonderful caller. What a great caller. She was really good. I'm so happy we could help her out. Thanks for helping me out with the reading. At any time. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Not like I'm surprised, but that was, um, oh, wait, where am I putting our inspiration? Oh, right, right. I'm going to put inspiration here. Perfect. So, okay, so that was great, doing the psychic readings. Like you guys heard, you can call in, get a, get a free reading, and from two talented psychics, let me hold up the sign once more in case you just turned in. It's one eight four four Art Ship extension 4. You're watching Tharp World. We do live psychic readings, live art, and we could just collaborate with viewers and with each other. This is Allison O.K. Frost, a very talented, good friend of mine, and also an artist who is starting her very own new cooking show where, we, where she interviews. What is the show called again? Let us it's know what it's called. It's gonna be called O.K. Allison Cooks. Yes. With an exclamation. With an exclamation point. Yes, <laughs> a, a silent exclamation point. I love it, that's my favorite. Okay, okay Allison Cooks. So, Let's put that, let's put Mary's birds in there somewhere. Absolutely. Because that was, she was such a great caller and such a good sport. I'm gonna put, like, when I, where I grew up, there was a lot of blue jays and they were really, really loud. Okay. And, and so I, and they screech, and I'm gonna draw one of those guys. Great. I, I wouldn't have even thought to put a bird. No, no. And they're like, they're really, really abrasive birds. There goes the other candle. Thank God they're they're not they're safe. Fire safe. Let's see, and I'm you know I think I'm gonna go tropical. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with sort of a generic tropical bird. Love it. They're so colorful. I'm really not surprised with our, our psychic accuracy at all. I no, I thought no. that was just really fantastic teamwork. Some really great insights. That's why I like working with another psychic too. It's true. Because it's true. everybody has, everyone sees differently, but we can really help the viewers. This is really good service that we provide. It is, it is. I, I can't think of a single other television show that offers collaborative art and free psychic readings. I can't think of one. They might there there might be one that exists, but I can't think of it. I can't think of it either. Maybe in the future of humanity there will be more shows where people do that, but we, we can hope. Or maybe they'll do other things. But psychic readings, I mean, it's a shame they've gone kind of a they they've gone kind of away since the television has has been replaced with a computer. That's true. And the late night call-in show. There's no Where such is the thing, late night call-in show now? There's no such thing as late night TV anymore because oh. everyone just watches stuff on the internet. All night. All night. They can watch day stuff at night if they, they want. They can watch anything, anytime. You, and then you, you aren't forced to watch paid programming anymore. Remember that? When you had to watch what was on TV? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> It didn't have to be good. It just had to be on. Exactly. And you adjusted yourself to the show. Absolutely. If you weren't in the mood for it, you got in the mood for it. Somehow. I love 
like this picture because the butt is really shiny, indicating that there's pantyhose under it. Yes. Or like really iridescent pantyhose. Yes. The, the high sheen pantyhose is an important workout accessory. <laughs> it's really important. So I'm not totally sure I know what a bird looks like. I know that they kind of, like, looking at them from sideways, and I know they're, that they're, um, I know that's the thing about these shows is, like, we have to draw from memory, and often yeah. there isn't a lot of reference, so that's why the, that's why the pictures come out so funny. <laughs> but it's really great practice, too. I know my work has gotten a lot more free since I've been doing this show. Oh, I, I have bet. to work fast, and there's there's no correcting, and there's no pencil penciling in. It's just it is what it is. One time I went to see a psychic, because I mean, I always like to see others work. Um, I saw her in the desert of Arizona, and she told me that Jesus was the head of the space program. Really? You know, I never forgot that. What, was that in response to a question? Yes. I was 14 years old, and I wanted, wanted to know if I was going to stay with my boyfriend through the summer, because we, you know, when you're in high school, and neither one of you has a car, and it's summertime, and it's like... How are you gonna see each other? And I just really want to know if we're gonna stay together, break yeah. up. And she's like, "Well, <laughs> actually, let's just get to the most important thing that I can tell you." And we talked about Jesus in the space program for you know about 15 or 20 minutes, and she sent me on my way with a cassette type tape with the reading, which I wish I still had. So did uh, did you and your your boyfriend stay together no. throughout the summer? No. Yeah. No, we didn't. No. You know, when neither one of you has a car, what are you going to do? And there was, there was no cell phones, really, and no one texted. It was just like they moved to another continent, you know? Yeah. So it was over. Oh. This must be really uncomfortable for this bird to wear this clothing. This thing is looks a little constricting. <laughs> and chest hair on a bird is totally acceptable in Thark world. Absolutely. It's manly, actually. It's a manly bird. Let's get him. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Don't forget, you guys, there's still time to call in. Do you have any pressing questions, wondering how things are going to turn out in your life? Well, you don't need to know and you don't need to wonder anything with psychics. We can give you answers to all of your questions, all of life's questions, even like about Jesus and the space program, if you really want to take it there. We can talk about nature spirits or gnomes, we can talk about fairies and elves if you want. I mean, really, we can go really get pretty get get kind of cosmic with this stuff, you guys. Can, we, can we, we go wizards? We can totally go wizards. All right. I mean, I I'm more of a I'm more of an expert in the nature realm, but Allison is a is an expert with dragons and wizards and other things like I'm that. I'm actually a wizard and dragon slayer. Yes. So that's like not my area of expertise, and I'm really glad that we have um, we have another opinion on the show. We have we have complementary <sighs> talents. It's really Thank really goodness. important. So tonight is a really special episode. So your questions will totally be answered, and you will never be the same again. I'm going to draw another card. Yeah, I am too. I'm, I'm feeling like I need a little more inspiration. A pigeon with a club foot. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Oh, perfect. And it looks like two cards stuck together in that. Oh, a rich psychiatrist buys blank at Walgreens. What? Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put what a rich psychiatrist just bought at Walgreens and a pigeon with a club foot. So that there's the inspiration. What, what's, what's your inspiration? Mine part? is extraterrestrial activity. Oh, that's so awesome. We were just talking about the space program. We were. We were. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is good. I love the legs. The legs are puffy. They are coming out. They're like very feathery. <laughs> very, very feathery. Okay. Okay, so let's just finish this. Card. 
Okay, a pigeon with the okay, the pigeon with the club foot. That's just something that really does happen with the pigeons. But they're the tough ones, they're the survivors. Ugh. You know how little kids draw birds and then they kind of draw the face, like on the side of the bird's face? Like, kind of like that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's where I'm going with this. Because let's make his face like, kind of like a man face. This is going to be. The more the show goes forward and the more warmed up we get, like the weirder and weirder it gets. If we were to film for like four hours, it would just get really zany. It, it would get crazy. I think when birds have spirit animals, <laughs> they're actually people. So I think that this pigeon spirit animal is a dude. <laughs> He's such a pretty man. <laughs> it's, it's true. So my favorite thing about extraterrestrial activity has always been the beam of blue light. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. I never even thought about that. Yeah, I think it's it's so nice. You never know when it's going to show up. Just suck, suck you up into the ship. Oh, my God. I love it. You know, there's um, uh, there's some amazing podcasts out there where people have been abducted, and they, and they make these podcasts, and they... And they are so worth listening to. Who are abductees. Yeah. And they're, I mean, they've really been abducted and they really want to talk about it. Oh, absolutely. But the abduction really, really sounds like a drunken blackout where they like wake up in bed, they don't know how they got there, they're covered you, in bruises. Right. You, they, they're missing There's no time. memory. Like, so it's kind of, it's kind of hard for the person who's maybe the discerning listener to really know if that was actually extraterrestrial because it seems like you could explain that one away pretty easily. Right, especially if it starts with you walking into the woods with a bottle of Jim Beam. Totally. And it always does. It always does. So those podcasts are fun. We got 10 minutes on podcasts. We have 10 minutes left, you oh, guys. I, if, you want a, if you want a free psychic reading, call now. one 844 ship toll free, extension four. We're doing psychic readings we have two very talented psychics on the show. I'm Allison Tharp. This I'm is Allison OK Frost, also a psychic and an artist. You're, it's, you're in for such a treat if you, if you give us a call. Within the next seven minutes, a free psychic reading, we will answer all of life's questions. But we only have seven, seven minutes left. Otherwise, we're just going to keep doing art because we do art on the show. We're collaborating on this piece. We do psychic readings. We do art. We do it both. Tharp World, we do so many things. And in an hour, it's, it's an incredible undertaking, you know. So this pigeon with the club foot, um, his spirit animal is a, is a man. On a razor scooter. He probably, this, this pigeon probably needs another spirit animal because this one didn't like keep him safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trickster spirit animal. Look at him. He's not really big head. See how weird it gets? Like it, this is like what happens. This is just what happens. So a rich psychiatrist buys blank at a Walgreens. Um, I think uh, toilet paper. We all need to buy that stuff. We do. Where and are you going to buy it? I mean, they have fancy stores where rich people live, but everyone needs toilet paper. What else does he buy? If you saw your psychiatrist buying toilet paper, would, would it change your, uh, your ability to uh, <laughs> receive treatment from said psychiatrist? No, I don't think so. I think if I saw him buying, like, well, let's see. Like, what would be extremely disturbing? Like, <laughs> how many things have you said? Like, a lot of makeup. Oh, yeah. Or like hair dye. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> or like, like a huge.
huge bottle of vodka. Yeah. And then, or maybe like. What about just um, rolls and rolls and rolls of tin foil? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So I'm thinking he's. I'm thinking he's buying the toilet paper. And just, like, just some dress for men. Hair dye. Oh, absolutely. I don't like to imagine my psychiatrist insecure enough to dye his hair, but I'm sure. Okay, there's toilet paper, hair dye. What if he's buying some concealer? Oh, yeah. Some Maybelline, like a little bit of like. God, I love to watch what people buy at Walgreens. It's such a fascinating just thing to, to watch. One time like I saw this guy, like followed him around the store, and I watched him buy like, what was he buying? Well, they're always buying toilet paper and then mm -hmm. like a big case of Pabst Blue Ribbon. But what else was he buying? I don't remember, but I was thinking, God, that's, you can just paint a picture with that, you know? Yeah, yeah. There are certain combinations that you, you just hate to go <laughs> it's almost worth making two trips, just that the combination is upsetting, you know? That's really true. It's like putting two colors together that don't go together, or just like, you just don't want to deal with the checkout person. Right, no, right. Because they do care. They do. They're judging all the time. What if he's buying a box of Valentine chocolates? Oh. If he's rich, why is he buying them from Walmart? <laughs> Maybe they're for one of his clients. That'd be so sketchy. That would be really sketchy. Cheap chocolate for his inappropriate client. Maybe it's for like the receptionist or something. Oh, sure. It always goes to a dark place at the end of the show. It always does. It never fails. <laughs> a lot of these cards are kind of dark that I made. But, you know, they do have both. There's two meanings always. There's a dark side and a light side. Absolutely. Wow. So I think it's toilet paper, some just for men. Oh, he's buying just for men because the lady's younger than him and he's buying some cheap yes. chocolates to make it look like he doesn't care that much. Right, right, but, but he cares oh. so much. And then toilet paper because you just need toilet paper. You just need toilet paper. Don't forget about Peter Chris. It's a little dedication. That's for my boyfriend. Oh my God, we got five minutes left. Oh. Five short minutes left. Five minutes left to call. Five minutes left to call for your free psychic reading. It's toll free at 1844 Art Ship Extension 4. I'll do your reading. If it goes a little over, it's okay, but not too, too much over. We do have things that we need to take care of. We're busy people. So this is the number to call. We're making art. We're doing the readings. Allison Tharp, Allison OK Frost, two Allisons, two psychics, two artists. The most special night of the entire world. And we're making art right now for five more beautiful minutes. I wish we could keep making art all night long, but you know, everyone has things to do. Our camera person, our lighting person, our computer, everybody, all of our experts have things they have to do. And it's fun when you know the party's gonna end. Absolutely. Jordan. Never, never wanna be the last one to leave the party. No, it'll be dark, no one will be here. One more card. Use the other hand to draw a new character. Oh. I think I'll draw the psychiatrist. Perfect. You know, I'm going to draw one more card, too, and see it. I'm going to draw him in these pants. I don't think I'm going to draw my psychiatrist, though. That would be weird. I'm going to draw, like, one that, I don't know, maybe one that might exist. A shadow in the grass. This uh, is so right up my alley. Yeah, man. That's also kind of like... I mean, there could be a lot of meanings with that one, you know. There could be. There could be. So I'm drawing with a psychiatrist with my left hand. I'm right-handed. <laughs> with a, this is a really great pen for drawing with your off. Non dominant hand is really forgiving. Oh, that is beautiful. It's 
it's always fun when you put like suspenders on the workout pants. They have like these really long, yes. like man, like man suspenders, but they're not really suspenders. They're part of the outfit, and then his chest hair can. I think it was really for the chest hair to be shown. Yeah, for, absolutely. For a man to show his virility and his masculinity. Because what was working out about if not chest hair? I don't know. I think that's really what it, what it was for. I think it was like a pickup scene, like those 80s aerobic workout places. It must like have been. Like size. <laughs> I'm going to draw him with his plastic bag from Walgreens. So while, while this young lady <laughs> initially thinks Whoa. it's only her own shadow in the grass, she is somewhat perturbed to realize there's a second shadow, and not only that, but the second shadow is a beady-eyed cobra snake. Horrible. <laughs> With fangs. I love his mouth. <laughs> and it's too late because what was left of the but what was left of the buttocks has now been worn down to nothing, so she can't run. It's just a you buttocks do nubbin. It's a nubbin. You need glute, glutes to <laughs> propel yourself. And without them, you're laying in the grass, about to be the food for the animal. <laughs> it's fun to draw with your other hand because whatever comes out is just like, he just has these like funny club. It almost looks like he's like going to the disco or something. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, and we will indicate that this is what's in the bag. Contents. Contents. Okay. A rhinoceros and a maiden. Wow. These cards are I don't even remember writing these. They're, but they're, they're fun. Brilliant, really. I would like I would like to have a deck of them to keep in my studio. There you can make your own. I just come up with like the first it's like the first thing that comes to mind and yeah. write it. But I mean I'll copy them all down for you and you can have some. And and check out Brian Eno's Oblique Strategies too, you guys, like as a as um, as artists and musicians or anybody who's creative. Um, they're so useful. There's many adif uh, different editions of them. You can get them out as an app on your iPhone, or you can copy them down. I just copied them down off the com off the computer, but you can also buy the decks. They're fairly expensive, uh, they're, but that's what these are based from and inspired by. So definitely check them out if you kind of like the process we're using, where it's very intuitive, very kind of like you know, very um, organic, using the cards, kind of like the tarot, where you just kind of yeah, it's open ended. It's open ended. You, you have to bring your own uh, mm -hmm. your own spirit to mm -hmm. it. You have to bring your own spirit to it, but but it's a great exercise. You know, in, in loosening up, kind of like the first season when we did the bad drawing book. I love the bad, bad um, drawing book. This is kind of like that in a way that it just kind of frees you up. So it's another tool you can use to kind of loosen up. And we try to do that on Tharp World to get um, our viewers and other artists who watch to have a little bit more lightness in our work. Because we all get, I think for myself, I definitely got, you know, a little bit like uptight. I want it to look good. I want it to be right. I want it to, people to like it. And so... This is a way to kind of, it just like stretches the creativity muscle so we can kind of create more freely. And uh, so last, lastly, it's a rhinoceros. Surprising when you, when you realize that you know how to draw something because it's stored in your brain. Like the cobra, like you got the cobra down. Like, but then certain things are like, how do you draw that? 
Right, absolutely. Surprisingly, the rhinoceros doesn't seem that difficult for me. <laughs> it's he's meaning to it, like their feet look kind of like club feet, but it looks like his his feet got cut off. But they didn't. Those are just his club feet. They're so cute. And I can't wait to see how this thing turns out, like as it goes. It's going to be so full. Absolutely. So how long does it usually take you to complete a poster this size? How many episodes? This one, it's going to take probably several. With you helping me, it'll take less. But when mm -hmm. I do them on my own, the last one took me two sessions, but this one's bigger, so it may take three. And then the more people that call in, it's a kind of like the quicker it can go, things like that. But with you helping me, it could probably be done in two. I think one hour is not enough time to finish the whole thing because I like to add like backgrounds and little things and word bubbles and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. And also we start to layer stuff on top. I do have a glue stick, which we can then collage more things on top if we want. So um, I'd like to get a word bubble in here. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, I think I'm going to draw a final card to yes. see what, where that takes me in terms of word, word bubblage. Love it. Idiot Glee. Don't forget the boom box, that's a lot of music. Oh, yeah. Get kind of blast it. Don't forget the jump ropes, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe a hula hoop might oh be Oh, my God, form. how could we forget till the very last minute? I can't believe it. I remember going outside in the front yard listening to Paula Abdul and jump roping until I couldn't even move anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because it was so much fun. I couldn't even, couldn't even deal with how cool that was. If you drove by my street, maybe 1980, I don't know, 1987, you'd see me out there every single day, jump roping, with my little tiny pink cassette tape player and and something really uncool playing, and me just kind of jump roping by myself. Good times, good times. Yes. <laughs> Here's the maiden. Oh my god, remember when everyone is doing the splits? <laughs> yes, I sure do. And like, if you couldn't do the splits, <laughs> you know, I you just were, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly even like walk straight, let alone do a split. <laughs> I went to summer camp one year, and uh, during the talent competition, one young woman was able to do the splits 21 different ways. Oh, crazy. I had friends that could do the splits. It was so weird. I was like, I don't even know how your body does that. And they looked serene when it was happening. It's like, are you not dying right now? Why is that happening to you and you're not dying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we are 10 minutes over. 10 minutes over. Dark World is over. <laughs> it's over. It's 10 minutes over. I want to thank everybody for what you probably already all went to bed. But I want to thank whoever's left hanging out with us. Thank you for watching Dark World. Thank you. Thank you and re-welcome.
Allison O.K. Frost, and please tune in, stay in contact with co the Compound Gallery and find out about her show and when it starts. It's, was it next, not this Monday, but maybe next Monday? May, yeah, I'm not totally sure. Keep, yeah, stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned and you'll we'll find work out. Work it out when, with the producer. Yes, and when, the, when, this, when her premiere will, will happen. We'll, we'll let you know. Stay tuned, stay on the social media. And I hope that Allison Farf will reciprocate and be a guest on my show. I would just love to. I've never been a guest on a cooking show. I just cannot wait. That'll be so exciting. So I want to thank all the viewers and good night. See you, see you next week.